Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. It took five long years, but in 2010, Bradenton widow Melissa Wandell won her battle. She was able to convince lawmakers to legalize red light cameras on state roads in honor of her husband who was killed in a traffic accident. I promised my husband that I would take care of our family and that I would make a reason for what happened that night at the intersection. Now, less than a year after the legislation was signed into law, a South Florida lawmaker wants the cameras removed. State Senator Renee Garcia filed a bill to stop cities and counties from using the cameras on state highways, citing the intrusiveness of the snapshots. As the war continues at the state capitol, battles are being won in the courtroom as drivers prove to judges they were in the intersection on yellow, were out of town, or at least in one case, part of a funeral procession. Jenny Hughes decided not to fight her 17-year-old daughter's red light ticket. She was shocked, devastated. She says her daughter was in the intersection on yellow and wished a police officer had been on the site so her daughter could argue her case. With the police officer, at least you get to say, hey, you know, it, it was yellow and you could talk to him if you're civilized and, you, and the, the police officer will talk to you back. The state legislature set the fines at $158, but local governments can tack on extra fees. Jenny ended up paying more than $300. If legislative leaders allow the repeal to move forward, stories like Jenny's are likely to be heard throughout the Capitol. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.